Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here and welcome back to the channel today. I'm here with a Bash Bunny payload. Now I've done one of these in a little bit. So here I am, Bash Bunny Mark II or Mark I, doesn't really matter because what we are doing is logging keystrokes with the Bash Bunny. Now I have done this with the USB rubber ducky. If you want to check out that video, it'll be right up here. But um, if you guys want to see how we can do it with the Bash Bunny, stay tuned, right? Here you can see we are on my GitHub page. Of course, I will link this in the description as always. And you guys can feel free to take the code, check it out, run it, whatever. Um, this is the Bunny Logger, right? It is a PowerShell key logger for the Bash Bunny. How does it work, right? So we have um, th like three, four, five different files. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I will show you guys exactly how this works in a second, trying to give you guys some overview and some context for the requirements for this payload. You will need a Gmail account um, that has um, LSA enabled. If you don't know what LSA is, less secure app access, um, functionality for Gmail. Basically, it will allow us to send the logs that we get from our keylogger to you through Gmail, right? So all you have to do is select this little blue tab, select it um, or enable it so that way we can have less secure access. Now, I would suggest making a separate Gmail for this because it is a payload. Let me actually show you guys how this works. So the first thing we have is the payload.txt that goes onto the Bash Bunny and it's like the first thing that runs, right? So of course we have the title, right? It is the Bash Bunny. Um, it is basically a keylogger for the Bash Bunny, right? It is created by me and yeah. Um, so the first thing we do is obviously we need to show that we are setting up for the payload. All we do here is get the switch position um, that we are on. Bash Bunny has two switches or four payloads switch position one and switch position two by default this payload uses switch position one you will have to do your own changes if you want to have it in switch position two um but i show you guys how to do that in the instructions so no worries um all we do here is just open powershell and then we run a ducky script.txt file and then we show that we're finished right so let's go ahead and check out that ducky script.txt file it's very short all we're doing is allowing time for powershell to open so we just delay for about 300 milliseconds then we move all the appropriate files from the bash bunny um, into their appropriate directories right so basically we're moving the p.ps1 file into the temp directory the l.ps1 file into the temp directory and then we're moving the c.cmd file into the startup directory all right and then of course we build the log file that's going to be in the temp directory as well after that we just run the key logger by running that c.cmd file all right what about these other letter files right so first of all we have the c.cmd file the c.cmd file all it does is that it sits in the startup directory right so every time the computer turns on this file will run and all it's going to do is run the p.ps1 file and the l.ps1 file that are saved in the temp directory as hidden powershell processes okay that's all it does so what do the p.ps1 file and the l.ps1 file actually do our p.ps1 file is the key logger all right this is all you would have to change in here is obviously put whatever your email is and whatever your password is for the gmail um, process then this code will actually log the keystrokes and then send the keystrokes to you. This is great, but all this is doing is logging keystrokes. So how can we get it so that way it sends us the keystrokes every hour as well as every startup? Well, every time the computer turns on, the c.cmd file runs, right? And every time the computer starts up, it's gonna run that key logger, which automatically will send you the previous um, set of logs, right? Which is great, but it's not gonna send every hour. So that's why this l.ps1 file is here. This l.ps1 file, all it does is the log scheduler, right? So we can see we have all 24 hours in the day in military time. Keep it in military time, it does some formatting stuff, but um, it will work on computer systems that are both using military time and standard 12 hour time. And then all we're doing here is just cycling through each time, right? We're gonna sort it, make sure that's in chronological order, and then have this infinite loop to make sure that it runs every day. Then we're just cycling for every hour within the time. If the time has passed already, then we're just gonna skip it. But if it is about to hit the next time, right? We're gonna say, hey, we're gonna subtract the time remaining, sleep, and then we'll run the key logger. We're gonna run the key logger every hour. And the key logger sends the log as soon as it starts. So basically, every log, or every hour in every startup of the computer, it will send you logs through Gmail, which is really cool. Let's actually, you know, get this onto a computer. You can go and hit the code, 
We'll hit the little copy thing so we can get this on our computer. Put your Bash Bunny in army mode and plug it into your computer. So that way you guys can actually put the payload onto your Bash Bunny. We see we have our Bash Bunny in our computer. We can go ahead to the payload section. I'll have mine in switch position one. And then all we're gonna do is open PowerShell in the little directory here so that we have PowerShell open in our Bash Bunny, right? So G payload switch position one. When it gets clone our repository onto the Bash Bunny. So now what we're going to do is if we list, we can see that our Bunny logger is on the Bash Bunny in switch position one. So what we're going to do is basically move all the files in the Bunny logger out into the current directory, which is switch position one. Let's go here. If we refresh, we can see that we have all of our files in here. Then we can just remove the Bunny logger file. Cool. So what we need to do is follow the instructions to set it up, right? So the first thing we need to do is change our Gmail credentials in the p.ps1 file. Code the current directory, right? So I'm gonna use VS code, use whatever text editor you guys want to use. Let's go ahead to our p.ps1 file and add our credentials to these two variables here. All right, now we can check out the DuckyScript.txt file as in step two and step three, it says in line seven of the DuckyScript.txt, change the switch one to whatever switch we use where you're going to use we're going to use switch one for this payload so we don't have to worry about that and then change the quote bash bunny quote um to the name of your bash bunny your bash bunny should already be named bash bunny in camel case but if it isn't if it's in all caps if it's in all lowercase if you renamed it you can just change the name to whatever your bash bunny is named in that section right here eject our bash bunny all right it is ejected i'll unplug my bash bunny so now our bash bunny is ready for use, right? We have the payload on here, it's all set up, and now we can just plug it into our target computer. So I'm gonna put it in switch position one, which is closest to the LED, and we're gonna put it into my computer. So we put it in, and I am logged into my Gmail on here. So opened up PowerShell. All right, it's putting in the PowerShell code. And that was it. It should be done. And you can see we have our blue C logs right here. Blue C is the username of the computer. And you can see that we have a notification saying, hey, the key logger is installed. It's logging keystrokes. So we can go ahead and do test, test, right? So now those should be logged on the actual log, right? Um, we have the two directories here, the temp directory and the startup directory where the files were moved. And you can see that the CMD file is here, the blue log, blue C.log is here, the L.PS1 is here, and the P.PS1 is here. Let's go ahead and actually check out, see how well you know this worked, right? So we can see if we go on our blue C.log, is it logging the keystrokes? It is, because it says test, test. If we um, go ahead and go on a browser, we can add something else, like literally something else, close it, and we can go ahead and take a look at our blue C.log and we're gonna see, it says test, test, something else. So it is logging keystrokes, cool. So this will send at the next hour because I have tested it before, but for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna rerun the c.cmd file so that way it just sends the logs right now. We can see that our email got the test, test, something else um, in our, what well, we got in our email. So every hour, you're gonna get an email of the logs that are being logged on the computer. Um, that's it, it's as simple as that. And that's it, you can, you know, unplug your bash button you could have unplugged it as soon as the PowerShell closed um but now it's locking keystrokes it's going to send these keystrokes every hour and every startup and now you have it going to your computer it's a hidden process it's basically foolproof right um so that's it that's the payload um I'm gonna go back on my face um thank you so much for watching guys of course leave the github in the link in the description as always if you guys want to check that code out while you're down there make sure to check out the discord um we have an awesome community over there and you can i'm pretty much on there daily so if you guys want to ask me any questions talk to me whatever that's probably one of the best ways to do it um make sure to subscribe by the way because we're almost to 1000 and i would love to be able to hit there it'd be really cool and i told the people on discord that i'm going to drop a song if we get to 1k so hopefully that's going to be not terribly cringy but um yeah that's going to be it for this video really appreciate you guys uh check out the payload if you like it and uh stay happy stay positive and as always happy hacking